Stenciling in, in a lot of ways is, the process is similar to photography too, whereas that feeling of when you put like a, a piece of photo paper into a developer and you're agitating it and all of a sudden you see this image kind of pop up, it's very similar to, to stenciling where like you may spray a couple layers and it just looks like some colorful blobs, but then like you hit that one, that one stencil where the, the image starts kind of getting sculpted out of the paint and you see that kind of emerge the same way that you do with, with a photo being developed. That's always appealed to me. With the, with the work that I do, it, it, it's comprised of different layers of stencils. So with each one, um, each, each progressive layer has more detail. So obviously with this one, it starts off with like the least amount of detail in it. And this kind of puts the, the base down. Um, and then as it keeps going, building up, then you start doing more and more detail. This piece here is a uh, siren of the sea, which is based on the, you know, the idea of sirens and how they used to drag them in, drag the sailors to their watery graves by uh, lulling them in with their, with their voices. And so the fir first step though is to mask off everything, make sure that a lot of the spray paint doesn't go in the places where it's not supposed to be. And then from there, it's just a matter of laying down the color. So with this, I'm just trying to get colors that kind of match that sort of stormy, dark sky. You know, really, I mean, I, just, I think, of, think of the cans just similar to the way you would a paintbrush. Like you just, you add a little bit of color there, a little bit of color here, and uh, just try to get it to mix to where it gets to a point you're happy with. Especially with these clouds, I'm trying to get it to be a real kind of dreamy, feathery. So, you know, having, having colors that kind of slip in and out from behind it is going to be the key. There's not any set condition for deciding what, what becomes a photograph and what becomes a painting. But you know, like if I look at a photo and I just don't, and if I feel like it's completely done, if I feel like I can't add anything, if I feel like I can't put my voice into it or alter it or, or, or change it in a way that's beneficial, um, I just leave it strictly as a photograph. One thing I've noticed with my work, regardless of whether or not it's with architecture or figurative or whatever else, is that it all kind of has that contemplative sort of feel. I never make work from like an action-based standpoint. It's always th this kind of stillness, this sort of like slice of, of time um, that happens in this like split second. And so I think that, you know, with all these, it, it does that, it sort of captures that, that, that moment where time just sort of pauses and stands still. This was the first piece out of the show that I sprayed with this, I just kind of had this idea in my head of, of someone sort of being saved and this kind of idea of like, you know, relationships being renewed or, or you know, things dying. And, and again, with, with the water, I mean, water has such a duality to it. You know, you could look at this as being saved and being reborn, or you could also look at look at it as though like someone's dying and drowning. I just kind of like that sort of, sort of vagueness and uh, the, the, the feelings that it sort of conjures up. It's nice being able to articulate something that's in your head in a way that, it, you hope comes through, but you're never really sure if it does. The very second I pulled off the last stencil, like I knew it was done. With stenciling, there's a certain zen to it. When you're sitting there and it takes a long time to sort of spray stuff out and you're sort of thinking ahead, I mean, it's almost like this sort of chess match. And, um, you know, and for me, I tend to be a fairly linear thinker. So, you know, I, I kind of like having this sort of work process where I can see an evolution and, and just being able to kind of click the button and see the picture. And then from seeing the picture, seeing that kind of translate to a painting and seeing the painting kind of kind of morph into this other entity uh, for, for me is what always kind of attracted me to it. Mm -hmm.